Okay, we're here today to talk about the 18 millimeter key and carburetor kit. BBR sells it as a complete kit that comes with the throttle, the throttle cable, the manifold, extra jets, all the bolts, everything you need to install it. The 18 millimeter carb kit is recommended for the 82 cc kit or the 88 kit. It also works good on our 106 kit if you want it to be really torquey. Um, so the first thing you want to do is get the recommended jets in there. The carburetor comes with a 95 main in it and a 35 pilot, which is just kind of a generic setting from Key in Japan. We recommend on the 88 kit an 80 main and a 35 pilot. And on the 82 kit and smaller, you want to start with a 75 main and a 35 pilot. That's with 92 octane gas. This is going to get you close just as a starting point. All right, the main jet and the pilot jet, they're located under the float bowl. You just simply take these two Phillips screws off, and um, it'll reveal where the jets are sitting right in here. So we'll show you that. You just simply pop this off, and the main jet is the one sitting right in the middle here and this is the pilot jet. You just simply swap those out with the recommended one that comes in your bag of jets and you're ready to go. Okay, the first step to putting the carb onto the engine is to bolt the manifold on and there's a curved side and a slanted side. You just put the, the straight part right on here, grab your allen bolts and screw it right onto the carb. Alright, the next step, usually I will pull the float bowl hose off of the float bowl and I'll even cut the nipple off here because depending on which head and cylinder and fin combo you have, this thing usually just gets in the way, so I'll snip it or saw it off of there. Once you have that, the next step is to put this plastic spacer plate on there. It's basically a heat shield to keep heat off of the carb. So you put down one of the gaskets, put down the heat shield, run another gasket and then you drop your carbon manifold right on top of that setup so it should look like this going off to the left side of the engine All right, the next step is to install the filter. And uh, this is the filter that it comes with, and we recommend putting just a little bit of grease inside there and spraying a light coating of K&N air filter oil on there. If you're riding in really dusty conditions, you may want to order the optional BBR foam filter. Uh, this one has an outer casing on it that really keeps the dirt out of there and usually I just get a few of these ready to go and that way you can switch them up because you don't want dirt sucking into these carbs or your motor's going to start smoking on you pretty quick. Once you have the carb kit on there and you're ready to try it out, usually you just fire the bike up and you can kind of fine tune it with the needle clip on the slide. Um, if you move the clip down on the needle it's richer, if you move it up on the needle it's leaner. And another trick you can do is you can pull the choke on a little bit, and if it runs better with the choke on, then you know it's too lean. If it runs worse, you know it's too rich. So that's kind of a quick and dirty way to check it. Also, if the bike is not revving out on top, your full throttle is popping, then you know it's too rich on the main jet. So you start going down five sizes at a time till it cleans up. Okay, that's the BBR 18mm carb kit. If you have any questions at all on jetting or installation, don't be afraid to call. Everybody here has installed them and is running them, so call us anytime.